Welcome to Hope Kids. Get ready to learn. And also get ready to have fun. Let's enjoy Jesus. I'm gonna be there, are you? Is this McDonald's? Oh wait, wait, we're here. It's time for Hope Kids. Work! Come on! Pani chai! Kaam pannu! Kaam karo! Yaar! What language do you understand? Come on, work! Can I help you? Something? Yes, Abhi. I need you to move this so fire. Thanks, fire. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, please. So watch me do it, okay? I'm going to throw. Just watch me. See, I'm too big. There is. And do this. That should work. Wow! That was amazing! And that was fast! How did you do it? I'm smart. So I spent a lot of time uh, in my summer cricket camp. But how does cricket tie with computers? Know, it doesn't make sense. So I used to like uh, get my dad's, dad's electronic stuff and make new things. So I'm curious to know. Uh, I'm curious to know what new things. Wow, that was smart. But you know, I got this. Okay. Thank, Thank you for you your help. help. Yeah. Abhi, I need your help. Oh! Oh! Ah! Hey, Sidhu. Hi, Abhi. Hi. Hi. How was it? How was it fixing the internet today? Do you see any changes in no. the internet speed? No, I've been playing Honey Bee Street the whole time. Oh, really? I love that game. I'm in level one thousand nine nine nine. I'm almost in the level to Daipuri. What? No yeah. way! I'm still in level fifteen. I need more time. Can you extend the time, please? <laughs> no. But why? Well, because I have kept everyone to have a limited time, so nobody plays more in their iPads. And in hope kids, I have set the timer that nobody can play too much. But the Bible doesn't play. I can't play all day. Mm, yeah, the Bible doesn't say that, but here in Hope Kids, we have some rules that we need to follow, and it's been given by authority, and uh, we need we need to follow them. I understand. Oh, okay. Anyway, you know what? If that wire it gives you again any problems, can you please call me back? I can hear you. I'm getting problems. Call. You hear me? Anyway, I'm out. I've got something for you. Okay. Repeat after me. Romans fourteen thirteen. Romans fourteen thirteen. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Not to put anything. Not to put anything. In your brother's way. In your brother's way. That will make him trip. Ah. That will make him trip. Ah. And fall. And fall. That's a good verse. Don't make people trip. I like it. This one time, I tripped over a dog and fell face first into the cow. Ew. I had a lot of bats that day. But Angelina, I don't think that's what the verse is trying to say. The verse is trying to say that we shouldn't tempt our friends to doing things that they're not supposed to do. I still don't 
So yo yesterday when I got into an argument with my best friend, I said a word. She said it was wrong. I said yo man, it's not in the Bible. She said yo man, it's in the Bible. I said no man, it's not in the Bible. So you tell me, who's right, who's wrong? Am I wrong to use that word? I don't think so. I really need the help of Hope Kids headquarters. We can help you with that. What was the word? Angelina, come on. Was the word Angelina? No. Yo, man, I don't mind saying the word again. Yeah, no, no. We don't need to go into the specifics. Okay. I think, Angelina, we can take Kiara to the lounge and give her some snacks. And you know what? I think the verse that I told you, Romans 14, 13, it's oh, a good verse. Yeah. Whatever you say, big guy. Yo! This is how he, he would get up and say hi, but he's too good to have a party break strike. Oh, yo, dude, man, what game is this? It's called party break strike. Want to play? Awesome, dude. I played before. I'm not exactly allowed to play at home, but anyway, I my friend's house sometimes. Wait, if you're not allowed to play, then just you should be no big deal, take it easy, Angelina. Oh, yo, 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 get that extra yeah, money, I'm, everybody. I'm... You get a thousand points, man. Let's go. I love just my health, please. Dude, you're gonna die. You're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should I get this? Are you oh, right? I... Yo, extra money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the breath kills them all. There are no biscuits here. I have to go get Okay, 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 okay. Grab it, grab it, grab it. It's the masala pudding. I'm gonna have the biscuits. Got money. Oh. Do you want to come? Okay, 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 oh, wait there, wait there. You got it, dude! I'm gonna go. Get yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine, we're fine. fine then. Find myself. Me, come myself. On, come on, come on, you can get level up, level up! Really? Woohoo! Yes! Awesome, man! I've never been oh. to that level. Yo, what happened? Uh, I ate my timer for the day. Timer? Yeah, Siddhu put, uh, in every, Siddhu put timer in every Orchid's tablet. So we have certain amounts of time that Ooh, we won't go over. There's a way around everything, yeah. You no, know, if I can somehow get up there and why myself. If I can get up there and myself. Abhishek, I got you covered, man. <laughs> What's up, Angelina? Nothing. Sure. Well, I feel like my friend is wrong and I'm right. And I mean, I might be wrong and he might be right. Or we might both be right. This is so confusing. Wow. I think I found uh, something that might help you. Mm -hmm. This is a Bible link for uh, Kiara. But I think we can't help When we follow Jesus, we live the way the Bible says to. That pleases God. But what if other people who are following Jesus and living to please God make different choices? Who's wrong? Who's right? The people in New Testament Bible times wanted to know this too. When the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the first Christians living in the city of Rome, he told them not to argue with each other about what they thought was right or wrong. For instance, the Roman Christians disagreed about what was right to eat. Some people wanted to follow the Old Testament rules about food to please God. But others believe that as long as you thank God for the food, it shouldn't matter. Paul told them to handle it this way. Don't let it bother you and stop trying to boss people around who don't agree with you. Paul said to let God be the one to speak to others about what pleases him and what doesn't. So, however we live, we should do it to honor God. 
We belong to Him, and we should try to do things His way, even if that seems different from how other people do. And when others who follow Jesus make choices different from ours, we don't look down on them. We aren't the ones who will judge each other. When we die, we will answer only to God, not to our friends, parents, or anyone else. We'll get to kneel down before God, tell Him the way we lived, and God will judge us based on how well we obeyed Him. But even though we shouldn't judge others who follow Jesus or boss them around, we need to help them learn and grow. We can make choices that won't tempt them to trip and fall down. But what does that really mean? How can we cause someone else to trip and fall? Here's the answer. Don't do things that lead others away from Jesus. Make choices that point them to Jesus. It's like the argument the people were having about food. Paul talked to the Christians who didn't think rules were important for food. He told them to go ahead and follow those rules when they ate with their friends that did believe the food rules were important. But why did Paul say that? Because eating what you want just isn't worth it if it hurts someone's walk with God. It's better to show love to someone who thinks differently than you do about food. And when you get down to it, following Jesus isn't about what you eat. It's not about which books you read, what shows you watch, or games you play. You and your family might have different roles from other families, but keep it between you and God. Don't make a big deal out of it and try to make everyone follow your rules. Following Jesus is about living a godly life, having peace between each other, and joyfully letting God's Spirit live in you and lead you. If you serve Jesus with this attitude, you'll please God and other people will be drawn to Jesus too. So you can know what to do by reading the Bible and obeying God's voice inside you. If you're not sure if something pleases God, then don't do it. Anything you believe is wrong and anything you're not sure about is a sin, even if others are doing it. When you obey God's spirit, you'll be blessed. So let's aim for getting along with others who follow Jesus and let's use kindness to help each other live to please God. No more arguing or judging. I think we get it now. Awesome. Well, my friend is a follower of Christ and I shouldn't be arguing with him or judging him. I should remember that Christ will help him do it twice. Yeah, be kind and uh, be patient. He'll come around. And in the meantime, I should remember not to do anything to make him trip or fall. You got it! I got it! Thanks, Bishop! Bye! Bye! The Bible link is no more arguing or judging. Oh no, I can't reach that! Yo, man, you know what we need to do to get your point of destination? You put your foot on my shoulder. So that Angelina can stand on my shoulder? Oh, yeah. What is going on here? Oh, she's here. Angelina, can you mm. step on my shoulder so we can be set? I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, live pure. Don't tempt your friends to sin. And I brought these biscuits for you guys to eat together. But you guys seem busy. So I'm just going to leave them here. Yo, man, let's go back to the standing on shoulders plan. Maybe Angelina is right. Huh? You should not supposed to do this dumb stuff just for a video game. Yo man, the Bible doesn't say I can't watch video games. I know, but there are rules and you have to follow those so it's like you have to not help each other to not sin. Like playing video games or saying bad words. Point thing, don't sit stay pure and don't tempt your friends to sin. <laughs> I support the Hi Angelina. Hey. Abhi, I think you should apologize to Angelina for trying to uh, make her make a wrong decision and include her in the human ladder. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry Angelina. It's a safety violation, do you understand? Yes, boss. Yeah. And thanks for helping me make her a good decision. It's okay, Abhi. Hey guys, I think we have all the links and you should share them. I think I'm gonna make a transmission link to Kiara. 
that would be nice. Yeah, I'll just go walk on. Yeah. Hey Kia, we found an answer to your question. This says, Bible says this. It's in Romans 14, 13. Make up your mind not to put anything in your brother's way that would make him trip, ah, uh, or fall. Arguing what's right and what's wrong doesn't solve anything. If you're okay with doing something and your friend isn't, you should stop. And Kira, you're not supposed to play video game and I should have stopped it. Everybody's family has different rules when it comes to what movies they can watch, what songs they can sing, what words they can say. But you have to remember not to make your friends fall or trip. And stay pure, don't tempt your friends to fall in sin. And always remember, Hope Kids is always there for you. Thanks, man. Dude, I still think I was right about the word. But yo, man, I won't say it in front of my friend anymore. Good idea. And yo, man, sorry for making you be tempted to go over your time limit. And man, sorry for making you part of my human ladder. And Angelina too, man. Now let's go as sorry to Angelina. Yo, man, let's go. Jesus can help us to stay pure and uh, it'll tell the difference between what's good and what's wrong and it'll help us to not trip and fall to the temptations Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, you could sing one of our songs well, How's it go? You know, I was hoping you'd ask It's why she tells me what I need to know I got a lot of respect for that woman But sometimes when I'm playing with a buddy or two They're doing things that know I'm not supposed to do Do you go along? Even though the things they do are wrong mm -hmm. I remember stand Stand up, stand up For what you believe in Believe in, believe in God She's the one to back you up It out. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us what it's all about. Oh, you know that's right. So if you have a question, go ask your dad. And he can tell you if a thing is good or bad, you'll make their day. Uh-huh. If you remember what your parents say. What they say? Hey, Tony. 